Hey guys, what's up? It's Isaac, and today we're going to be talking about pornography and really how it kills love. But first, I want to just give a huge uh, shout out to my patrons on Patreon. Thank you so much for your guys' support on Patreon. If you want to help support my ministry and creating these videos and online resources and other kinds of things, uh, head on over to patreon.com slash daily underscore disciple. You can support me on there for as little as five bucks a month. And I know it's a lot to ask because a lot of you guys are younger. Uh, just know that it would be a tremendous blessing to me. Uh, my goal is to do this full time and you'd help me do that. So anyway, on to today's video. So what kind of spurred this video on in the first place is um, I like to consume a lot of different content, um, you know, podcasts and videos and just kind of it helps me not only for entertainment purposes, although that is a part of it, but to kind of get inspired and see what other people are doing on the platform. And in doing that, you know, I've been listening and watching some videos from non-Christians. The issue of pornography has come up more than a couple of times, like a significant amount. And I can remember even thinking back a little bit um, when I was maybe a younger teen and just hearing, uh, you know, about pornography and this isn't something we want to, you know, celebrate or really talk about that much. Like this is something dirty that we kind of don't want to talk about. But what I'm starting, what I'm starting to notice, and maybe you've noticed this too, is just the general cultural perspective of pornography has really become that of well, it doesn't really hurt anybody, or it's not really that wrong, it's kind of everybody does it, or, you know, jokes being made about it, like, oh, well, you know what I was doing, you know, home alone or whatever. Like, to me, as Christians, and this is part of why I have this channel, is I want to be speaking into these issues. Now, say, hey, look, you know what? Pornography isn't just something that we should just let settle in our lives. It's not something that is normal. It's not something that should be celebrated. It's not something that, that we should be proud of. So let's talk about it. Let's figure out, let's talk about what pornography really is, what its ramifications are, and how we can overcome it. I want to talk about pornography, and we can talk about it in a general sense. There's lots of different areas we could talk about it. But I want to talk about it in the context of God's love, and understanding God's love, and understanding pornography, and what that really does to our hearts and souls. Because what I think is amazing is that God shows us what his love is like through how he interacts with us. God's love is selfless. He gave himself for us while we were still sinners. And that's an amazing way that God demonstrates his own love for us. But when we look at pornography, pornography is by nature selfish. It only takes one person to sit down and consume and be pleasured in that way. And it's something where we're like, you know what? I want this. I don't care about the ramifications, even on myself or other people that I'm affecting by watching this. And I want it now, so I'm going to do it because that's what I want. We can justify watching pornography by saying, hey, look, no, I, I deserve this. I, I, You know what? It's okay for me to, I need this. I need this in a sense. But when we look at God, when we look at his love and how he demonstrates that love and how he calls us to demonstrate that own love within our lives, not only the fact that he said, hey, look, whoever looks at a woman to lust after her has already committed adultery with her in his heart, but understanding that, hey, God has called us to act out love in our own lives. And how does that look? It looks like being selfless. It looks like putting our own wants and desires back and putting other people's wants and desires first and God and honoring God and serving others first. And when we take part in pornography, we're saying, no, this is what I want. This is, I'm gonna get what I want. We're being selfish in that way. Porn tears down and destroys not only lives, but souls and, and our hearts, our consciences. When we watch pornography, it consumes us from the inside out. It draws us in and says, hey, look, yeah, you deserve this. You need this. But it never is satisfied. That desire is never satisfied. And it destroys. But God's love, it builds up. It is faithful. It is merciful. It is self-giving. It gives itself, right? And so when we turn to pornography, we're saying, in fact, I'd rather have this pleasure knowing that it's destroying my soul than I would living in the love of God and acting that out in my daily life. When we consume porn, it's by nature impatient. It says, I want it now. I want it 
Now, I can't wait for this. But God's love, he waits. God's love waits for us. And when we understand, hey, look, God loves us. God died for us. We can look at this sin in our lives and we can look at these sinful desires that we have and just say, hey, God, I don't want this. I don't want this. I, I know porn plays into my desires to be selfish and to be impatient and to, you know, self-harm in a sense. But I want to honor you and I want to live in your love. Part of the reason that porn is so prevalent is that it exists based on a lie. A lie that it will give us fulfillment, a lie that it will it will make us happy, a lie that it will give us connection, a lie that this pleasure could last forever. When we appease these sinful desires that we have to take in porn, to watch porn, right? It's a temporary pleasure that ultimately leads to disappointment, shame, and all sorts of guilt, right? But God's love is eternal. Porn may promise connection and acceptance, but in fact, that can only be found in God's love, which is eternal. We're turning to porn for things that porn cannot uh, really give us. Not only is it against God's design for how we ought to approach sexuality and ought to fulfill um, certain God-given desires, but we're actually turning away from the person, God, who can actually fulfill those good desires of wanting to be loved and wanting to be accepted and within a community of connection. But when we watch porn, we turn away from that and instead we live in isolation. And that isolation only destroys our soul even more and it kills love. Maybe you've dabbled with porn and you're watching it maybe once a once in a while or maybe you're completely straight up addicted to it. Um, I, this is, video is not meant to tell you what a terrible person you are and there's no hope for you and you know you're the worst piece of trash. That's not what I'm saying and that's not what the Bible says. In fact, actually the, the amazing thing is that even though we turn to these things that won't satisfy us, even though we turn to these escapes, even though we, we try to please our own sinful pleasures and are impatient and selfish, even though all those things are true and we've all made mistakes, God has given us a path out. And he did it because he loves us. He did it because he wants to give us a new identity, an identity in Christ, not in those things that we watched or we celebrated or we, you know, dived into because we thought they would be fulfilling. But he wants to give us a new identity where we love him and honor him. And we can be given that new identity because Jesus came to this earth fully God and fully man without sin. He didn't turn to these escapes that we think may fulfill us, but end up leaving us broken. Jesus never turned to those things. He lived a sinless life when we couldn't live, and he died on the cross, a death we deserve to die for our sins against God. For all the times we've looked at pornography, for all the times we've lied, for all the times we've been selfish, for all the times we've been prideful, Jesus died to take the penalty for our sins, and he rose again on the third day. And what he asks us to do is to turn away from our sins. Say, God, I'm sorry. It's, a call, it's called repentance. Say, God, I'm sorry for doing this. I don't want these things. Please change my heart. And he asks us to put our faith in him because he is our only hope. He is the one that can break these shackles of pornography and lust. He is the one that can provide us healing from all the sexual brokenness within our lives. He wants to be present with us in our lives. He's not abandoned us. In fact, he is present with us. So yes, porn kills love. But when we look at the love of God, we ought to cling on to that and push aside any counterfeits. Because porn promises connection, love, acceptance, fulfillment. But in fact, it delivers nothing. And what God says is, look at me. Look at the Savior. I have already saved you from these things, and in me there is true hope. 
Well guys, if you got something from today's video, I encourage you to give this video a like and subscribe down below for new videos which are coming out Mondays and Thursdays. I'll leave a comment down below with your experience. I know this is a heavy topic guys, but I, I hope this is a kind of a continuation for our conversation that we've been having around this channel. Uh, you can check out the two-part series that I've already done on this issue. Uh, both videos are linked in description. You can check them out and leave a comment down below with your thoughts on this issue and maybe some of your personal journey if you want to share that. I, I would love to hear it. Thanks so much for watching guys and I'll see you next time. See ya.